Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. I've been away for a while. I've been doing some training. I've been taking on new staff, uh, but I'm back now and I'm ready to share a few interesting cases with you. And this particular one here was very difficult. Um, we have here a sort of encrusted mass of dead skin and wax very deep in the ear. And uh, as I push this mass, just see on the right hand side of the frame here, as I push in, you'll see all this fluid emerging. Did you see that? So th this mass isn't cemented, it isn't adhered to the eardrum, which is a good sign. I know that there's fluid behind it, um, but it, is, it, it was an extremely difficult case. And it's made more difficult for two reasons. One, it's concave. Uh, and that means that there's wax around the sides and uh, which is, again, helping it kind of adhere and, and cement to the canal walls, not the eardrum, the canal walls. And uh, that is very difficult to peel away. The other reason that it's a challenging case is because I think what's happened here is that not only has the patient pushed the wax further down, but at some point he's used some drops, some, some softening drops to, you know, soften or dissolve the earwax and it's softened a little bit, it's liquefied a little bit, and then he's given up. And the wax has, you know, the, the liquefied debris has, you know, crept into all the little recesses and gaps. You know, you have a, a trench just in front of the eardrum uh, down below into the side. So that's the inferior recess and anterior recess. So it, the wax has kind of crept into those recesses and then solidified again. It's had plenty of time to firm up and harden. And as you can see here, I'm going in at full strength with a fine end suction probe. And I can kind of move it around, but it's, it's really, really tough stuff. It is hard as nails. And you may be thinking at this point, well, you know, can't you just kind of go in on the side or, you know, do something different with it? The reason that I'm being a little bit careful here is because we're so close to the eardrum. Uh, the skin in this part of the ear canal is extremely sensitive. Um, and when you're working this deep in the ear, this close to the eardrum, the last thing you want to do is, you know, apply a little bit too much pressure or just nick the side of the canal, make the patient jump, cause some bleeding, and uh, then you're in a, you know, then you're in some trouble. Uh, the other thing is at this point in the procedure, I didn't know how thick the, the plug of debris was. So I didn't know if the eardrum was, you know, 10th of a millimeter behind the plug or if I had a couple of meters of, 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 of buffer room between the plug and, and the eardrum. So, uh, so in that sense, I was a little hesitant to kind of jostle it around and, and you know, be a bit rougher with it. The patient was fairly tolerant. And throughout the procedure, I kept on asking, is this okay? Is this hurting? Is this hurting? And he put on a brave face. I could tell he was finding it a little uncomfortable, but as far as I could tell, it wasn't, wasn't hurting him. Uh, so I've applied some olive oil here just in the hopes that, you know, it will do something. Um, it will, it will lubricate the canals and maybe, maybe some of the oil will creep behind the plug of debris uh, and maybe just kind of lift it a little bit. But at this point, I'd sort of run out of ideas to be quite frank with you. Um, now, usually I would say I would put some sodium bicarb in, send the patient away for a couple of hours and tell them to come back or rebook them for a different day. Um, but this patient has, uh, was, was, was going traveling the next day. So I, I really needed to get this out. Um, again, I'm going in here now with a, a regular sized suction probe. So what you've seen before is called a fine end. It's just a very thin, um, it's a suction probe with a smaller diameter. This is a regular one. And you can see just the power of it, how it's sucking up all the excess olive oil. Even this is not making much progress. And it's not necessarily because the, the suction is too weak. It's just that it, the, the surface of the plug is so hard, it's so crusty that, and it's concave, remember, the suction probe cannot latch onto it. So if you have a concave surface and you have a suction probe, it, it's not really going to interface very well. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna grab it very well. So I'm going in here with a Cawthorn hook. I'm not really looking to remove the debris with a Cawthorn hook, but I'm just looking to move it around I'm just looking to disturb it. And again, it looks as though I'm not really doing much to it, but I am, I am in fact just sort of disturbing the debris and, and loosening it up a little bit. Again, I'm working this close to the, to the eardrum, this deep in the ear, 
with any kind of manual tool is it comes with its risks which is why I'm being so careful and uh, I'm really just looking to just move it around in positions just there that little movement just a couple of seconds ago where I kind of and here as well when I'm lifting it that's key because that's now going to allow me to lift up a surface of this plug so again these these types of extractions where stuff is on the drum or you've got a plug very deep in the ear they aren't usually this difficult but watch this lip here you see this lip of the of the um, plug that I'm I'm just lifting up look how rigid that is it's not flexing it's it's as rigid as plastic or cardboard you know dead skin and wax should not should not be that hard so it should deflect and and, and be manipulated by the suction probe so that's how hard it is and if you look at the top left of the ear canal that's that's really where I should have been paying a lot of attention but that's my that's kind of my my weak area top left because I'm right-handed um, it's very difficult for me to to get a fine end up in that corner now I'm just wiggling it just to loosen it up here and you can see you know the, the oil now is starting to contribute and it's it's lubricating the canals and it's reducing that friction just so I can start to move it around but um, the, because I've edited the video um, it looks like it wasn't too much of a difficult case but I did spend uh, off camera um, off camera which is edited out um, I spent quite a lot of time just kind of getting a feel for it and probing and, and kind of assessing the situation so this is a, a kind of best case scenario here so now that I'm pulling it out again it is a very awkward shape but when I pull it out you'll see just how concave it is and the back end of the plug uh, was in contact with the eardrum but not adhered so that's probably why the patient was able to tolerate the procedure so again, just pulling, it's, you can see it's still anchored down there so pulling it out pulling it out and I think at this point it gets it gets trapped so that it's just it's an awkward shape and as you can see I'm struggling with it um, so at this point I think I just thought sod it I'll get it I'll get it with a cawthorn hook um, so we'll go back in and uh, beca again because it's so hard and crusty it's, it's much better just to get it with a hook more convenient to get it with a hook there we go and voila so we'll take a look at it with the endoscope and you can see just see right there see how it's kind of like a cave that's why it was so difficult um, uh, and, and so resistant to the suction there's the eardrum and as you can see the eardrum is stained yellow so the, the back end of the plug was obviously in contact with the drum but otherwise everything looks good here's the plug here um, I haven't put it on a ruler but it's about a centimeter in, in size but uh, there we go it's on the end of suck on the end of the cawthorn hook um, so there we go I hope you found that one interesting it's I thought it, it, I think it's always useful to to showcase um, not just you know easy satisfying procedures but also the difficult ones as well so there we go thank you very much for watching if you have any uh, comments questions leave them down in the comment section below I will try my very best to get back to you as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.